And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, early round action here. How will Gilbert Dorino Burns choose to proceed? At times in certain matchups, he's had these verbal guarantees like no takedowns, right? Even if that's the path of least resistance. This is a fighter's fighter. Absolutely loves to strike. Even though, of course, he's one of the more world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners on this roster top to bottom. Barely missed there. Okay, Has good defense to block that punch. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, if you're the boxer, maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. So as he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful. And it shows how hard they work in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for him to jump out in front. Burns gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Wow, huge head kick. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Burns. Really good vision. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh. oh my goodness, what a right hand. Oh, oh nice high kick. All right, so an opportunity goes to... Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. And Burns in half guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Heading back to the corner now after that round. And Cerrone's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Cerrone is overhand punch to the head. It doesn't get there. It was telegraphed and it was blocked. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, how good is that jab by Burns? Well done. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a with the right hook.
that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack Jai. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this knee. No, I, I can't get those legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. That shot is blocked by Cowboy Sword. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. You need to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he is really... Right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Burns has got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now, so some work for the cut, man, in between rounds if we get there. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Close guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pump. All right, that's the end of round two, and Burns got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight. Ready. Third and final round. Up to the head there by Burns. Another good shot. That shot blocked by Burns. Oh! Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Right hand over the top. Goodness. Huge left hand. Big combination for Cerrone. Oh, good block there. Well, now you see some big straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Burns going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. Strike gets through. This could be over soon. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. So congratulations to Donald Cerrone on yet another UFC win here tonight. He once again takes on all comers and once again finds a way to get his hand raised tonight. He puts it all together. And of course, if one guy knows how to celebrate a win, it is Cowboy Cerrone. Tap that keg, Donald.